Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it would seem that Humble Bundle are getting in on the GDC action. Yes, we have a Humble Bundle on Sunday. I think this is the first time ever. If you can recall one ever happening on Sunday before, let me know in the comments down below. But this one is the Game Master's Toolkit Assets and Tutorials Bundle, and it is for, well, pretty much everybody. We've got Unreal Engine, we've got Unity, and we've got Godot all in this bundle. And the cool thing here is, basically, if you've got Unreal Engine, you can get it in any other tool, as I'll show you in just a second. So this is a collection of stuff, mostly from Lurtus Studios. We've had some of these in the past. There's a little bit of repeat the previous bundles, but not so, not too many, to be honest. This one, I think, was given away by Epic Games, for example, but do make sure that you don't already own the stuff that you're interested in. You're getting a ton of items here for 25 bucks. In fact, you're getting 50 items here. Let me go over the hands-on portion, then we'll come back to the bundle itself. So let's show you with uh, probably my favorite asset in here, not because of the quality of it, because my, I like doing Hello World 3D applications as bowling, and now I have this asset to work from. This is the Nashville Bowling Center. So you can see here, everything you need to create a bowling alley and I do pretty much mean everything so this environment is you know you got all your balls you've got a bar here you've got an arcade going on over here with various different games in it uh, really nice looking asset and like the thing I do like again Unreal Engine and I do have articles down below that will show you how to do this you can easily get them into other environments for example here we are in Blender this is the uh, bowling alley asset exported out and oops Let's go take a look around the world here. So again, all the stuff you see here, uh, it's chunking around a little bit. Uh, over here, again, you got your bar, and then you've got all of your arcade assets and such going on, so you can easily get it into Blender. And once you've got it into Blender, you can bring it wherever you want, such as over to the Godot game engine. So here we got the same environment imported into Godot. Like I said, it's you're gonna have different lighting in each different situation, uh, but as you can see, it is game ready uh, wherever you wish to use it. So that's the nice thing about this. Even if an asset isn't necessarily in the engine you want, there are ways to get things from uh, the Unreal Engine and the Unity game engine over into like Blender or uh, Godot or whichever. So again, uh, I will be revisiting this asset in the future because again, bowling is my favorite simple uh, introduction to a game engine application and it's nice to have some better looking art but this is just one of the assets here we have the modern city pack and uh i gotta admit this one actually feels uh familiar to me so again i think this might have been an epic giveaway uh especially this subway portion here you can go down into this again feels very very familiar so anything you're seeing here if it is the asset you're interested in do be sure to check that you don't already have it uh, but this is, it's pretty robust, actually. So you even have these buildings, like this bank building with content inside of it. We've got a couple of other buildings that have actual interiors. Over here, we have a best burger, and then inside you have the environment. So you even have uh, burgers and fries, etc., are ready to get you up and going, point of sale system, and so on. So really useful environment assets in this one. Uh, and then one more demonstration. We have the historical museum environment. So this is kind of a night at the museum. You've got a uh, gothic museum style place. And then, uh, you know, display cases. And then we've got some dinosaur bones all around the outside. All the architecture that goes ahead to make this. And the key thing here is so far I have showcased the uh, Unreal projects. And I've shown you them exported to Blender and Godot. But of course Unity is represented here as well. So here is the same project, but running inside of Unity. Uh, so for some reason, it's got super bloomed lighting. I actually find I don't like the lighting. There we go. I actually think it looks better without all the blooming, uh, personally. But again, lighting is going to look completely different from game engine to game engine. But as you can see, really high quality uh, assets, ready to go. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, environments, everything here is super modular, by the way. So if you need to use any like an individual asset from here, uh, in the Unity case, so here we are. You're going to find all the art is broken down here. So example, variety of prefabs available. Uh, so everything you're seeing in the scene is available as a prefab that you should basically be able to just drag and instantiate into the world like that. Uh, and then there you go. So uh, everything is ready to go uh, in the world of uh, Unreal Engine and static meshes, etc. cetera. Uh, so yeah, that's a hands-on with the stuff that's in this bundle. Another aspect of this bundle is the tutorials. For example, there are two Godot tutorials here. There's the Mastering Godot and the uh, Godot in so 3D Game Development with Godot and Mastering Godot. Uh, these are actually pretty in-depth. So this one's broken down into six different games. So for example, if you wanted to create a 2D platformer, uh, you got a variety of videos covering the topic. So here we can see uh, creating a 2D level. 
Now, one thing you may notice immediately there, this is Godot 3.x. That's the only downside to the tutorials here. Uh, they are for Godot 3.x series. Uh, and that's un a bit unfortunate, but uh, stood it hasn't changed too, too much from that date and time. Uh, you might have small syntax changes. The UI might be looking a little bit different, but for the most part, they should still be applicable for you. Uh, and you'll find for each one of these, you're gonna find the assets that were used. And then you will also find the Godot project available here, for example. Uh, this is actually using Monogame from the looks of things. So there's, uh, again, a number of tutorials in this set as well. Sadly, the Godot ones are, again, 3.x. All right, so here we are back at the Game Master's Toolkit Assets and Tutorials Bundle for Unreal, Unity, and Godot. Uh, as with all Humble Bundles, it's organized into tiers. You buy a higher value tier, you get all the stuff below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do. And thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. Now, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail of this one because there are 50 items in it. I'm just going to quickly scan through it. At the uh, $1 tier here, you're getting uh, a, a plugin for Unreal Engine for doing object distribution. And then you're getting uh, two tutorials and an environment uh, so the big thing here so we've got a number of different tutorials so unreal sensei is a company uh, that paired up with Lertes. Uh, so they've got lighting tutorials here, creating a F FPS zombie survival game in Unreal. And then we, here we've got uh, Unity and Maya tutorials, for example. So at the middle tier, that's where the majority of the tutorials are packed in here. That's where the uh, Mastering Godot tutorial is, for example. Uh, and then you've got a couple more assets here. A few more environments, Victorian Alley, Home Interior, uh, Weapons, and then uh, Futuristic Corridor. And then we got some other things here. So you're going to find with this bundle that three or four items for some strange reason are redeemed on Gum Road. I'll show you how the rest of these work in just a minute. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, but the Gum Road stuff, I don't know why they put a couple things on Gum Road. But interestingly enough, the stuff that's on Gum Road is stuff like this. Uh, the Fantasy Icons pack, which quite literally I could care less about. So personally, I will probably never go to the Gum Road assets. Just be aware, three of them redeem on Gum Road. Everything else redeems on another website. Uh, and then a variety of tutorials at the top tier here for 25 bucks. Uh, plus you're getting uh, the abandoned industrial environment, the uh, museum and city packs that we saw in action, another Unreal Sensei, Unreal Engine tutorial, uh, another uh, Unreal tutorial, a couple more there. Uh, the Godot awesome 3D game development tutorial is here at this tier. Uh, then you're getting uh, game design 2D plus 2D and 3D project tutorial for Blender and Unity. And we're getting a couple more packs. For example, you're getting uh, cyberpunk handguns and shotguns. You're getting uh, vehicles, uh, post-apocalypse diner special effects or sound effects. This one is Gumroad as well. So it just seems like certain weird things like icons and sound effects got put over into Gumroad. And I think this one is on Gumroad as well. Uh, and then we've got the coffee shop, modern office, medieval town. Uh, and I think this one may have been in a previous bundle as well. Just something to be aware of. Abandoned hut, stylized Indian city, stylized wizard room. This one may be another bundle as well. You're getting another uh, Unreal Engine plugin for uh, art placement in Unreal Engine. Uh, and then you're getting Christmas Market, uh, Paris Street Environment, the Bowling Alley, and the most important asset here, a stylized cyberpunk arcade. Uh, and then you're getting 25% uh, off Cosmos by Lertes. We'll get to Cosmos in just a second. And then a, a number of other tutorials. So it is a pretty broad game development bundle. Uh, the stuff that I have looked at has all been pretty high quality. Again, the one disappointment is the Godot stuff is 3.x version. But I think this is worth it mostly for the environment stuff myself. But I, I'm a sucker for environments, so there is that. So in terms of how this works, you redeem it on Cosmos. Now, Cosmos seems to be a new um, front end for Lurte's stuff. The kind of cool thing here is they're actually setting this up so that it is um, a game engine in specific. I think that kind of the Unity Asset Store thing and what Unity did maybe scared them a bit. So now they want to launch their own thing. So it looks like they've got Rocket, which is coming soon. So this is going to be uh, an app or a way to get their stuff. But what you're going to notice here is if I pick an asset, you know, hopefully I'll pick one that's uh, multi-platform. So here we've got, for example, the cyberpunk shotguns. Well, you come in, nah, I didn't, unfortunate. Okay, let's pick a, uh, so I know for sure that the museum, so we'll use the museum as an example. So you come in here, and you pick the museum, you got a breakdown of what exactly is in that asset. But what you do here is you come in here and say, I want it to be for Unity, or I want it to be for Unreal Engine. And the cooler part here is if you pick it for Unity, you could say, I want it to be for a version, but then I can also pick HDRP or ERP or built-in. And that's normally one of those areas that's a bit of a pain in the butt when you're dealing with Unity. Uh, so using this setup is actually 
pretty nice. So all of your stuff gets redeemed here. Uh, you just basically, you create an account. I logged in using Google. Uh, it was simple in that regard. You redeem a key and then all your stuff is here. And then you just basically come up here to your purchases and everything is available there. And you can download directly from them. All the courses are here as well. Uh, so the courses are here as um, a zip file. Uh, basically just go ahead, download said zip and uh, extracted it's it's lesson by lesson like you know, basically part one part two part three all those mp4 files and then you've got resource files that goes with it so for example this one has uh, 15 sections 162 lectures it's 14 hours in length and then you also have the projects that go along with it so uh some pretty good stuff in terms of tutorials i haven't had the time to go through their actual content yet the extent of what i've did is basically just checked out uh what the version of the godot one was and i watched a few minutes of it but that was the extent of it so i can't give you an opinion on it but if you've gone through some of these uh courses, especially like Unreal Sensei stuff, uh, and you have an opinion on it, let us know in the comments down below. Definitely useful for other people. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Game Master's Toolkit Bundle, a huge collection of assets and tutorials. Uh, it's a nice set of stuff, to be honest. Again, Unreal, Unity, and Godot are all covered. And in the case of anything that is Unreal Engine, you can get it over into other game engines looking pretty damn good. Like I said, bowling is definitely going to make another appearance. Here you can see the bowling asset exported out to the Godot game engine. And uh, yeah, this, this literally was a menu item export, load it in, set up a little bit of lighting and you are good to go. So uh, you can use these in a variety of engines and I really like the quality. And again, this guy will make another appearance next time and do a bowling tutorial. So uh, this is the bundle. Let me know what you think, comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.